money collected by police during drug busts is benefiting the entire community. Good evening and welcome to the news at 9. I'm Mike Landis. Sarah is off tonight. The cash taken from criminals is now helping prevent crime. Our Parker Paget is live tonight at the police station. Parker, they have a lot of these busts every year. How much money are we talking about exactly? Yeah, Mike, the department goes through about $100,000 each year. I talked to the chief about what that money is used on and how it can help make the community safer. Springfield police are taking down criminals year round. But when money is involved in the crime, what happens to that cash? Forfeiture money that's at the conclusion of that case that may be returned, a portion of it returned to us after it's forfeited by the criminal as part of the adjudication of the case. Money that's surrendered in federal cases goes to the government. Police then have to submit a request on how much they want and what it will go to. And if it's approved, they get some money back. The bulk of that usually goes towards training and education to, for officers and, and supervisors that we were not able to fund out of our regular uh, budget. We try to use it in a wide variety of things. According to a report of last year's funds and what they went to, training is one of the top priorities. Being able to provide advanced level training for my executive officers uh, to send them uh, places and, uh, and get that advanced level training wouldn't be possible without, without the funding that, uh, that, that this provides. Mike Scowden says any extra money is good news for the police. I think that's that's a fine use of that money. I think the police department needs all the support it can get. So, Dr. Deborah Cox says mental health should also be a priority, but sees no problem with the program. I think that's a very good idea. Anything to benefit the community, um, you know, to take a negative and to turn it into resources for the community makes a lot of sense to me. One important distinction Chief Williams wanted to share that money that they get for this program comes from federal convictions. Any money from state level charges goes towards the school systems. Reporting live at Springfield, Parker Paget, Ozarks First.